what is good youtube it's your bomb rlb coming at you guys with our week four team builder slash battle for the ibl and if you guys are hyped make sure to smash that thumbs up button down below guys if you guys are brand new do consider subscribing guys i know a lot of people that actually watch my videos aren't even subscribed so feel free to hit the subscribe button it's free and you guys get to see this face more often i get to see y'all views more often it's a win-win situation baby let's do it all right guys a couple of opening announcements first i want to say sorry if the audio is a little bit weird in this video it is super super hot over here in la even right now it's about 10 p.m and i think it's about 80 something degrees still so you guys might hear my fan in the background i'm going to do my best to edit it out in post editing but you guys still might hear a little bit of uh kind of like i guess like a fan in the background so really want to apologize for that guys but like i said it's super hot look you can see how shiny my skin is i ain't lying it's hot as hell i'm sweating and um second announcement is um feel free guys i am starting to plug my discord server um feel free to join that it will be linked in the description down below i'll try to have a visual right there in the middle of the screen it's called the pokey lounge um feel free to join guys catch the fucking vibes uh feel free to join talk about anything we talk about mostly everything we have a question of the day where we don't even talk about pokemon we just talk about our lives uh pets a significant others how our day's going etc etc so make sure to join that guys um join the discord catch the fucking vibes secondly guys i want to let you guys know that i will have a link down in the description below to my week three my week two and my week one battles as well if you guys missed any of those make sure to go down in the description below watch those catch up to this one and then go ahead and catch this this one because it's going to be a doozy it's going to be a good one it's going to be great um yeah nothing much else to say let's go ahead and dive into the matchup as always i'll have a timestamp on the screen and i'll try to start remembering to put it in the description as well of when the battle will actually start um but yeah feel free to skip this team builder portion of the battle but nevertheless let's go ahead and dive into this team matchup guys we are facing on the new england evolutions and coach sparrow very excited because this is actually the first time we get to play sparrow uh he, this is his first season i don't know if it's first season in the ibl but this is the first season of him coming back or first season me at least playing against them in the ibl so really really excited not sure what to expect at all this man has a pretty uh solid team overall let's go ahead and dive into it as you guys can see he does have cinderace which is his gmax i have no switches look at my team no switches um gets iron head for my clefable it gets uh, fighting moves for my incineroar it gets urshifu it can hit, hit me with a uh, bounce so i mean i have no switches into cinderace uh, he has the Cobalion, the Steel Fighting type, which is a pretty awesome Mon, but just not in this matchup. I think I have a lot of checks to it. Even Clefable can take three Iron Heads if it's not like Life Orbed or anything like that. If it's just standard Rock Shuka or Air Balloon. Uh, Flygon, which is one of his a few, few um, sources of Defog in this matchup. So something that we have to keep in mind as well. Uh, Heliolus, which is a fast electric type Pokemon, which I do expect to come um just because it can volt switch around on my team uh it can launch out powerful specs um ones i'm expecting more of a life or variant this game or choice scarf uh to outspeed my urshifu at plus one uh ninjask as well which i don't see coming base 160 speed i believe um baton pass is not legal it's only dry pass in this league so i don't expect that to come at all sableye which could be kind of annoying with like taunt uh thunder wave shenanigan but I don't really see it coming either. Uh, Swirlix could be a niche kind of bring on his end if he wants to go ahead and try to, um, you know, set up webs on my squad or, you know, so that he, that, because I have the webs option. So he might try to be like, hey, you know what? Let me get webs up on his side so that we can counteract those webs. So I definitely could see that kind of being a niche pick, especially my week two, if you guys didn't catch it. Swirlix, not Swirlix, uh, Slurpuff caught us off guard with them sticky webs and we almost played around it, but no luck uh tang growth which uh is his very bulky very very bulky wall uh with toxapex that regenerated core right there which is really solid as far as him drafting it um and it completely walls my urshifu if you look it completely walls my urshifu mammal swine does a pretty good job of breaking through both of them with earthquake and icicle crash so that's something to keep in mind as well um and the vanillix vanillix is super super annoying this generation being able to launch off those powerful blizzards uh, blizzard spam basically boom 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 hitting us freeze dry for our water type um which is urshifu which can hit us for big damage and then uh you know flash cannon for mammal swine or something techy like that 
Um, predicting his six, I want to say the six that are going to come are going to be Cinderace, Flygon, Heliolisk, Tangrowth, Toxapex, and Vanillux. I'll say that again. Cinderace, Heliolisk, Flygon, Tangrowth, Toxapex, Vanillux. So his top three and bottom three, essentially. Um, let's go ahead and dive into what I'm bringing and why. So first, we got my boy Manny, as always. Um, rocking the Choice Scarf this game. Uh, Choice Scarf is pretty good against this team. We do big damage to Cinderace if it's G-Max. Uh, Cobalion, Flygon, we kill with... Um, we outspeed, we can kill it. Heliodus, we outspeed, we can kill it. And DD, we outspeed, we can kill it. Uh, Tangrowth and Toxapex. Uh, like I said, this mod does break through them very, very well. But we don't need to because we do have... Um, you know what? I might actually make a change before the battle because uh, we're rocking max speed, max attack with an adamant nature. Uh, this is a little bit scary because if Vanillux wants to run Scarfed and it's jolly, it could actually outspeed us and hit us with a flash cannon. So that's something we have to be wary about. Definitely. Uh, Earthquake, Superpower, Ice Shard, Knockoff. And this is what I was saying that I might change before the game because I actually think I like Icicle Crash over the Knockoff a little bit better. I just wanted Knockoff because of things like Ndidi. But... I'm thinking now that maybe Icicle Crash will be a little bit better just for breaking through Tangrowth. But we're going to revisit that right after this team builder. So let's go ahead and um, keep moving through it. Mammoth Swan, like I said, has a phenomenal matchup. This battle breaks, breaks really, really well. Next, we got Grinch, which I'm very excited about this set. We're rocking the heavy duty boots. Um, this week's spread is going to be... 148 HP, 108 attack, 28 defense, 4 speed def, and 220 speed with a jolly nature. So I believe that after we, um, the point of this is just a break. Swords Dance, Fire Punch, Knockoff, Earthquake hit pretty much my whole opponent's team um, at plus 2. I don't think there's anything that safely switches in. Nope, nothing. Everything's getting l code So if we can find a moment in the game to set this up, um, we, are, we are pretty much gold. We're pretty much solid. Um, the point of the speed is actually the 220 speed is actually to outspeed an adamant cinder race after webs, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that brings us to our next one, which is kind of spoilers Ribbon Bay. So Ribbon Bay is coming with the Focus Sash this week. Uh, Focus Sash, max HP, uh, no, not max HP, max special attack, enough HP, enough speed for Jolly Cinder race. And then the rest into HP. That's what I meant to say. Sorry, I'm getting kind of choked up. Words are kind of hard tonight. I ain't gonna lie. But Sweet Veil, so we can switch in on Sleep Powders from the Tangrowth if need be. Sticky Web, Stun Spore, Bug Buzz, Moon Blast. So this thing is my dedicated, dedicated lead. Um, another thing I was thinking about doing was putting Defog over Moon Blast on this mon. But I think I value the Moon Blast a little bit more. I think I do. I'll keep, I'm going to keep it. Uh, this is my dedicated lead. Though. I'm leaving this almost 100% of the time my hope my hope sorry my hope is that i lead this and then he wants to go ahead and lead cinderace because like i said cinderace is a huge huge problem for my team hopefully he wants to be cinderace we bring this out um let's say it's choice scarf or something like that it's probably gonna be heavy duty boots though um we just he g maxes up and we click stun spore that's the goal we click stun spore we get this thing paralyzed right away hopefully we hit if we can hit we hit him with the stun spore. Next turn, we guarantee um, guarantee outspeed him. We'll set up the webs. Webs are going to be really, really good in this matchup for uh, slowing down things like the Vanillux, if it's Scarf, the Heliolisk, the um, the Cobalion, the Ndidi uh, Male. Really, really good at slowing those things down. And his only form of removal is the Flygon. Oh, and uh, Ninjas, but I don't see Ninjas coming. And, and Court Change from um, Cinderace. But if he's running Court Change, that means that he has to run one less move of coverage to hit the rest of my team. Even though Pyro Ball does do a good amount, he needs Pyro Ball, he needs Iron Head, he needs Bounce for my Urshifu. He also needs... Um, what else did he need? He needs like Zen Headbutt to break through my Garbodor as well. Um... I said Iron Head already for Tefable as well. So, Ribombe, hopefully, hopefully going to be able to stun Spore that fucking Cinderace in the beginning because that thing is a pain in the ass. Next, we got Garboder. 
which is actually supposed to be named the New England Evolutions, but I'm going to try to change his name too before the battle. Uh, Black Sludge Aftermath Ability, Max HP, ma almost max defense with a little bit of attack. This thing is basically just my spike set of this match. Spike Stomping Tantrum, Gunk Shot, Pain Split. We switch in every single time on the Toxapex. We don't have to worry. Even if we get burned, we aren't worried about it. We're going to Pain Split that thing to whittle it down. Basically, Pain Split his whole little squad. Uh, Spikes is really good because we can get him up on the Garboder. And we don't really have to worry too much about him uh, spiking us with uh, spiking us with toxic spikes as well because we can counter spike each other but the way that's going to work is i'm actually going to bring in oops i'm actually going to bring in um another mon spoilers to fable i'm bringing to fable i'm magic guard so i don't have to worry about the toxic and then i bring this back in and i soak up the toxic spikes so i don't have to worry about toxic spikes at all black switch is just great for the um overall recovery uh stomping tantrum is there for like i said the toxapex the um heliolisk like the uh cobalion gunk shot is there for the tank growth mostly and i can just kind of spam it like i did last um two weeks ago no last week actually against high bones and uh yeah that's pretty much the garboder set right there next we got my g max urshifu right here rocking the life orb max attack um enough speed to outspeed his indeed nail at base 95 uh unseen fist ability u-turn surging strikes close combat zen headbutt so u-turn is there for pivoting of course it also hits the tank growth for about 54 to 65 if it's g max and then zen headbutt hits uh toxapex for about 47 to 54 but if we have psychic terrain up from his indeed email zen headbutt will be doing more um especially for g max we might have a chance to knock it out especially if it's not fully defensive uh but it probably will be and uh yeah hopefully this thing can either clean up late game after my incinerar is done breaking or it could come in mid game and actually kind of break for me we do have to be really careful because this thing has a lot of walls to it so we don't want to g max up too early so that's something i definitely definitely have to consider all match so we don't want to lose it because of that and finally we got shadow uh you know how shadow does rocking the leftovers max hp about 84 um, spadef evs and then the rest which is i believe 172 evs into my defense uh the point of this is basically just i come in on tangrove i come in on toxapex every single time and i get up a wish i get up a wish every single time i could teleport out i can thunder wave i really want to thunder wave that cinderace so if cinderace isn't at plus one attack and it kills something like my garboder or something like um you know with bombi i just bring this in and we can t-wave it t-wave spam is really good against this team against the things that want to switch in on this like cobalion like cinderace like helio um well helio this doesn't want to take a moon blast i'm not gonna lie but um you know thunder wave is just really really good we can thunder wave the toxic pack as well you know get it a couple um the, the thunder wave on it could be the split decision between whether he can recover to not get too hook killed by another mod so that's something to keep in mind too uh shadow gonna be putting in the work this match uh bold nature and yeah guys that's gonna be the whole ass squad really really excited i'm gonna get connected with sparrows and i'll be right back with you guys with that battle all righty guys we are back and if you guys did skip to this part of the battle we are taking on sparrows coach of the new england evolutions um yeah let's go ahead and dive straight into it guys have fun good luck to sparrows really really hyped this is our first time battling i mentioned a little bit earlier we will be trying to get the layout going so let's see what he brings so he does bring no vanillux which is uh, so great to see um ninjas which is a little funky um ninjas is definitely a little funky his defogger no flygon which is really really trippy to see uh let's go ahead and cinderace we weren't expecting the cobalion okay uh no flygon as well no indeedy mail which is cool to see uh ninjas this thing what's it called sable eye no swirlix okay and then we got this and this awesome okay so let's go ahead and lock in leads and i'll get that layout going um i think i just lead with bombi i'm so mad at myself because i did not put ice school crash on manny over that but we're gonna try to catch his um thing off guard uh we're gonna try to catch his uh cinderace lead. i'm gonna take the full minute just because i am trying to edit this little layout i got looks all good and we're gonna go ahead and save as um 
versus sparrows go ahead to desktop save as a png i know i know i give you guys anxiety i know i give you anxiety don't worry we click it um gonna go ahead and open it here hopefully it comes out good luck have fun to sparrows i know i said that already let's see did it save here is the question there it is oh there it is i need some shit with some bop in it okay oops okay Go. Okay, he's using Jess, which I was kind of expecting to be honest. I kind of just want to save my. Um... Let's go and start this. Okay, I kind of want to save my Bombi Sash. Um... Might bring in this thing actually. Yeah, let's do this. I fuck with this song. <laughs> you guys ever played Battle Revolution uh, Pokemon? That was like one of my favorite games besides the Coliseum games. But uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and switch up to Profe, but I shouldn't take too much from anything this thing wants to go for. As it goes for uh, Dual Wing Beat. To 117. Okay, we got to keep that in mind. Ninjas. What the Dual Wing Beat? That did a lot, actually. Dual Wing Beat. See, I think this is choice band. That has to be choice. I don't even know if that's choice band. Ninjas choice band. Yeah, that did a lot. That did too much for my liking. Uh, I can just get up a wish here. Could also T wave. Um. I do kind of like the T-Wave play. We'll live another dual wing beat. That's for sure. Um, Cause I don't really have the best switches into this thing. Could always go like Garboder, but I kind of need Garboder for the late game. Um, let's go ahead and get up a wish. Cause then we can go into Garboder. We can just take the dual wing beat and then we can go ahead and live it for sure. Okay, he does switch this thing out. If we get up rocks, that thing's taking 50%. I'm pretty sure it's choice banded because that did way too much. Oh, I should have um, I should have T-waved. Okay, let me check from the range that we're at. I should have T-waved. It's life orb, adamant, blaze. If you have something like the iron head, can we live from the range that we're at? Um, if we G-max up. If he's adamant, we don't live. If he's jolly, can we live from the range that we're at? We're at 141. 70%, we don't live it, unfortunately. Man, this thing is super annoying for my team. I really wish I would have clicked T Wave. I was kind of thinking about it. Um, 101. No. Okay, let's go Garboder. I should check our bomb and just click stun spore. I need webs. I need webs up this game. I'm gonna go guard boulder, I think. Shout out to the claw. White claw, I'm trying to get a sponsorship from White Claw. Come on, baby. Sponsor me. I'm best uh, one of the best Pokétubers out there. This thing will take whatever it wants to go for, but then it will get the wish in return. So just G Max up. He doesn't G Max up. Okay, Power Boss, we could get get to see how much it says thus down to 96 okay 96 down to 96 about 49 percent so it's not life orb we see that it's probably heavy duty boots and is it adamant or jolly did that about 49 it's probably jolly and we're back right at full so um i do like stomping tantrum do like stomping tantrum does about 46 uh if you gmax up here it looks like Stomping Tantrum still doing a good amount. Let's go ahead and go for it. Hopefully he's not weak this policy. That would kind of actually be sucky. He's going right back into the bug thing. Toxapex, perfect. Stomping Tantrum. 
That does good damage. Black Sludge? It is Black Sludge. 5, 10, 15, 20. Do about 20%. Okay, so this looks like it's max HP, max defense. I'm just going to get up a spike here. Yep. I'm just going to get up a spike here. This team doesn't really threaten me out. And getting up these spikes is really good. Scald? Okay. Not a problem. Okay. Black Sludge Recovery. Yeah, I really, really like um, spikes here. I'm going to go ahead and just leave one on the field because I definitely don't want him to try to... Um, I don't want him to try to, uh, you know... I was going to say, a uh, court change me. So that I don't, I definitely don't want that. So we know he's adamant. Probably um, heavy duty boots. One of the best items to run on Cinderace. He's scalds here. So we can always get up a wish here, guys. That's what I. That's what the reason I brought in Shadow right now is to get up a wish. Um... Looks like he's pretty adamant on just clicking Scald here. Okay. And uh, we'll see if he has like a... Probably should T-Wave there actually. Because he might bring in Cinderace. Maybe I'll T-Wave on the next play. Yep, we'll get up the Wish. I love Clefable. I love Clefable. Okay, left it. Doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so it has Scald knockoff. Which we expected. Uh, toxic spikes, maybe being full bunker. Uh, I'm just gonna launch off a T wave here. I think paralyzing this thing is really, really good. Like I said, in the team builder, it could stop a potential uh, like recover spam stuff like that. Okay, my mic's on. Um, also, guys, I want to apologize. Let's go, para. Um, also, guys, I wanted to apologize for the fact that. Um, in the background noise, you guys may hear a fan. Super, super hot over here in Cali right now. So we're rocking with the fan for right now. Um, like I said, I could just wish on this thing all day. Okay, it does T-Spike. You see, and this is the beautiful, beautiful thing about it. I just go right back into Garboder and we soak up those toxic spikes. Um, I could also go with this thing and set up. I do think I like just going this though. Yeah, let's just go this. We have to watch out with our time because we're already like at seven minutes. So, okay, that ninja is gonna be super super annoying. Okay. Yep. Awesome, and he gets paralyzed. Yep. Okay, we get the wish, which didn't really matter too much at the end of the day. Um, he has court change, huh? That's probably why he's being so comfortable with it. Um, I'm gonna stop a tantrum here. I said I don't really lose anything. Maybe I should have gone into Cinderace. Okay. Okay, he gets paralyzed. Okay, cool. So, like, you see what I'm saying is like, what, what I'm saying is like, I'm just trying to get in my Incineroar and set up that Source Dance, but I need the webs up first. I really need the webs up. Stompy time jump crit. Yeah, we're whittling this thing down, especially if we got like another para here. Yeah, he scalds. He could burn us, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's not really going to matter too much. We're still doing consistent chip on this thing. Um, I kind of want to launch off a gunk shot here, predicting him to switch out to something like the ninjask, something like the tang growth. He doesn't. Okay. We hit it. Okay, good damage. Is he recover here? Okay, cool. So he's either gonna switch or recover here. Um Yeah. Okay. Let's stop attention. Because I, I, he probably thinks now that I know he's going to want to switch out into something like the Ninjask. Alright, maybe he goes Kobali on Big Brain Plays. Nope, he doesn't. Okay. It's doing good damage. Yep. Okay, he does get the burn. He does get the burn. I, th I feel like he switches out here. I really feel like I want to double here. 
If I doubled into my Bombi and just got on my webs right now, is that the worst thing? I really don't feel like it is. Um, I could also get up Urshifu. I kind of want to click uh, Spikes one more time. See what he wants to do here. Valiant, which is this thing. Okay. Get the spikes again. And I'm not really too... Oh, this thing Swords Dance. It actually could be a threat. Oh, but we have choice... Scarf the Mammal. Because this thing is actually my main check to this Mon here. So, just go ahead and Stomping Tantrum here. You could set the Swords Dance, but like I said, I'm not really too worried about it. I always go into Mammal Swine in my Revenge. Okay, he actually substitutes here. Okay. Do we break with the Stomping Tantrum? Let's see if it breaks still. It should break, actually. It didn't break. That's crazy. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Is it left? It's not leftovers, is it? I don't think we saw leftovers. Just Stomping Tantrum again. I think it might be doing more damage. What does he do? Swords Dance? Calm mind. Interesting. Okay. Like I said, I'm not really too worried about this thing. We just always go mammal. As long as this thing is not behind the sub before, um, you know, it's, uh, as long as it's not behind, a, um, a sub, two of them didn't break. That is crazy. Okay. We might be in a problem now. Um, yeah, are we actually dealing with a problem here? I kind of don't feel like I'm too scared about this thing. He has to set up here. Call mine again. Okay. So as long, like I said, as long as we have this thing sub broken, but that's crazy that it's sub is not breaking. Let's see burned. To Cobalion. Definitely a neat set. Definitely a neat set. Um, it's not Air Balloon. Okay, we break it sub. And if he chooses to kill us here, it's actually best case scenario. So let's go ahead and stop in tantrum one more time. Okay, it does substitute again. Yeah, this is the problem here. But we do always have Bombi to take a hit. Cinderace is probably either choice scarfed. How many more? Eight more? Okay. He probably uh, hits us here. Might be able to live though. Whatever he wants to go for. Flash Cannon? Do we live this? We might not. It's plus three, I think. Let's go, Garboda. You're a fucking beast. Bop, bop. Yep. Like I said, I am going to sack this thing off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Sticky Webs Moonblast, I think. Sack this thing off. Sticky Web. Then Moonblast. Oh, Moonblast might not even break the sub, though. I get the moon blast first to see if it breaks the sub. Mm, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going Bombi here, and I'm gonna get up webs, and then I'm gonna moon blast, and then hopefully he kills us. Okay, big Bombi. And we're just gonna get up the sticky webs here. No hezo. Yep. Oop. Flash hand? Yep, okay. We just have to hope that he does not um he dies. I mean this moon blast, hopefully. Let's see. It should, it should still knock it out. It should still end his uh, 
it should still do his uh break his sub is what i'm trying to say and he should want to take this thing out focus blast why why would he do that i don't get that <laughs> bruh you're a beast you're a beast i love that um that's so funny i love that there um shut the moon blast <laughs> man that is a sick set this is a sick set right here okay flash cannon knocks us out also i think our boulder is dead okay So this is a bit of a problem. Uh, I'm gonna see if Urshifu lives from D-Max. Cobalion, like plus three, I think he is, like flash cannon. Um she didn't do too much. She didn't do too much. Shouldn't do too much. My Calpin is right though. He's at how much? Plus three? Plus two. It should never die. Uh might be worth the max knuckle. This should not die. From my calc, it should not die. It says Max is doing to us is uh even at plus three with the modest nature. It says Max is doing is 31 to 36, so I mean I understand he brings in ninja so and dual wing beats right after, but I mean We just have to beat him with the offense now. Focus blast does a lot. Max Knuckle here. Max Airstream would have been so good. I'm so sad I didn't run it on this month. Yeah, now he just brings in Ninjask. So that's all we're like, 16. Yeah, this is gonna be the. Okay, so this thing is Choice Scarfed. Oh, but it's. Webs? Choice Scarf though. Uh, what is this thing called? Heliolisk? We're at 144. It could be like Choice Scarf, let's say. Thunderbolt oh, kills us. We want Mammal here because if he is um, Choice Scarf, he'll be locked into Thunderbolt. Also, Cobalion is dead. Oops, nope. I don't mind really risking my G-Max. I didn't really need it too much. And I don't want him to uh, just Thunderbolt me for it. Yep, full switch. Um, Does anything really want to take this knockoff? I don't think anything wants to take this knockoff. Just gonna click it. We knock off Cinderace's heavy duty boots. We knock off, um, you know, Kikata mode. What is this? Okay, we knock off this thing's whatever it has. Oof. Choice ban. It was choice ban. Okay. Um, there's no way, right? There's no way this thing knocks us out. Uh, that was fine. Max is doing like half. I'm just gonna click knock off again. Okay, leech life. Oops. Ah, okay. How much did I gain him back? I think this still kills. I think this still kills. Okay, cool. That's two down, right? That's number four. Okay. I also want to keep track of these stacks. So, Mammal kills. 
Uh, Mammal kills Ninjask. Cobalion kills. Is it heavy duty boots? Heavy duty boots. Yep, it is heavy duty boots. Okay, so Cobalion kills. Uh, what did Cobalion kill? Bombi and the Garboder. Okay. Um. We sack off our shadow now. But we're going to Grinch. I kind of don't mind going into Grinch, getting off an Intimidate. But if he high jump kicks, that could be a huge problem. I don't want to do that. Um, let's go to write down these stats. What's this thing called? Cobalion kills Bobby Gorboder. Mammal killed this. Who killed Cobalion? Urshifu did. Urshifu kills Cobalion. Yep, I kind of figured. I kind of figured. Um, T-Wave. I'm not really too worried about the core change, if we're being honest. Okay, does G-Max up? Actually, we do have to be worried about core change. That does suck. We shouldn't have any hit, though. It's not Life Orb. We know it's Heavy Duty Boots. Maybe at T-Wave, though. Actually, I don't know. Yep. We should live. Unless it's a crit. It's no crit. We have to hit this Thunder Wave. Come on, Clef. Okay, that's what we needed. Um. Okay. So we have to hope for a para. Um, uh, do we actually Actually, I think Incineroar still wins this game once we get up a Swords Dance. Uh, I'm gonna wish on the off chance that he maybe gets a, he maybe gets a pair here. He doesn't. Okay. So this thing kills. Uh, Cinderace kills. Clef. Okay, guys, this isn't looking good. If I'm being honest here. Six. Okay. I want to get off the Intimidate. I think. And then sack off Urshifu. Get off the Intimidate. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Urshifu, I think. Let it get sacked off here. Because I think Mamo and... Mamo and uh, Incineroar are the key to winning. Let's see what he has. Probably max fightings here. Which we may be able to live. Well, not after the spikes. Can he get full para though? Can we get a full para here though? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Um, we have to get another full para here. Which is a little bit I, like something I don't want to see. Uh, I want to Surging Strikes though. He has a perfectly fine switch into um, Toxapex or the uh, Tangrowth here. He stays in. I don't think he thought we were going to outspeed him. Okay, well, or should we kill Cinderace? Maybe he thought he did what he needed to do. I think that was the key to his victory though. So okay, so Cinderace is gone. And Cinderace just wins now. He has to go something like Tangrowth here. Merengue. This thing. I think we're okay to sack it off here. We're okay to sack this thing off here. In close combat. He may over predict and go for something like Hyper Voice. Grass now, okay. Okay, 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 guys. Okay, boys, this is it. It's time to see if Insignia War can win the game for us. It's time to see if Insignia War can win the game for us, gentlemen and ladies and boys and girls. All right. Let's see. Swords dance. We dance it with swords. 
We dance it with swords, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. This thing could have focus blast is the only bad thing. Oh, this is para too. Swords dance. Okay guys, I'm probably gonna take this full minute and then from then on, I'm gonna play super, super fast because we have a chance to kill this thing right now from full. Um, what I wanna check is how much is Helio is with the Choice Scarf doing with a Focus Blast. Two my Incineroar. It's doing a lot, we need to be at full. Um, I had to bank on the uh, Para Chance here or a crit or a high roll. Yep. I said, let's get that max roll, baby. We don't get it. Okay, can we get a pair up? Uh, uh, Haze. I don't think he wins this this exchange here, though. Starts dancing again. We live a scald. Only does about thirty percent to us. Let's see. Heavy Duty Boots are such a clutch item on the Cinderella. It's so close up in the expert belt. Get parried. Get parried, bro. Get parried. You know you want to. Okay, I'm clicking uh, knockoff here. Knockoff will kill or not? I know I said I'm going to start going super fast from here, guys, but... Just want to make sure knockoff will kill. It does kill every single time. Can't bring in Tangrowth. Can't bring in uh, Heliolisk. Okay, he does bring in the Tangrowth. Yep, Rody. This Rocky Hama is going to get knocked off. <sighs> that did a lot. That's scary. That's scary. Fire Punch. I did a lot to Tangro. Come on, baby. Let's go, Incineroar. You're so close. You're so close, Incineroar. You're so, so close, Incineroar. Let's go. That's a KO, right? Let's go. Incineroar picking up the body. Let's go. Kills. Um... It kills um, Tangrowth. <sighs> Let's go Incineroar, baby. Let's go Incineroar, baby. Let's go. We live a... We should live a Focus Blast. We always live a Focus Blast from full. I mean, we can't really do much, but we have to click... Um... It's Modest. Does it kill? You get Surf. He votes. Okay. That's going to put me in that range, I think. Good play. He has to hit the Focus Blast, though, too. He has to hit two, actually. So. I'll take that exchange. We can also get a range of how much, how uh, bulky he is right now off of that. We'll see if he's modest or not. Okay, this should die to the Earthquake coming its way. I didn't see my health, though. It's in your war, picks up another body. Like I said, I think it's going to come down to him hitting, uh, having to hit two Focus Blast. And like I said, we're going to see if he's Scarfed or Adamant right now with this roll. 129, this 69 with the Volt Switch. Uh, to Incineroar, we can take our time here. Uh, 129. 68 so it did to 32 percent nope he's jolly jolly uh surf and jolly focus blast we got 68 he has a 50 percent chance to knock us out if he has focus blast because he is jolly let's keep knock off <laughs> see if he has the focus blast he surfs this doesn't kill 
Cause that's in kill. Let's go, baby. Incineroar just won us the fudging game, guys. No way. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah, guys. I was super, super um, nervous about bringing this set because I know it needed webs to win. But I'm so, so glad we were able to put it off. Man, guys, that was a crazy ass match. I really think sacking off his uh, Cinderace to my... Um, Urshifu was a huge, huge misplay just because I, I personally didn't even think I would outspeed it either. It was kind of a risk. I didn't want to take the time to calc. I didn't want to take the time to check. But damn, guys, that was <laughs> that was a hell of a battle. Got my blood rushing. We take the 2-0 victory against Sparrows. Not easily at all, guys. It definitely took a lot. Um, but if you guys did enjoy that battle, definitely, definitely make sure to leave a like down below, guys. And if you guys are brand new watching my channel for the first time and that was your first game watching us, man, subscribe for that because that was a crazy ass win with Incineroar. Um, yeah, guys, picking up the 2-0 victory. We are now 3-1 in the IBL, which last season we actually started out 0-3, guys. So just to show you guys, keep battling, keep trying. You guys will always get better. Experience is definitely the best teacher want to say thank you guys so much for taking the time out of you guys day to catch this video again sorry about the audio with the fan but it's super fucking hot over here in la thank you guys so much for the support i try to do better next week i'll catch you guys on the next one peace